Hello everyone, welcome to this episode from the Aurelia City from City Skylines. Last time we did the Glass Highway Tunnel project, we built a lot of stuff around it, including residential buildings and detailing, and today we will continue working from this place, we will finish this residential district and the shopping center, and we will also start a new project, which is going to be a sports center in this empty area by the river. I really wanted to start some kind of a stadium project a couple of episodes back already, I think I even talked about it, but uh, now it's a nice time to finally get to it, because we finished all the areas around this place, so we can nicely just put everything together and uh, basically finish all the districts, all the neighborhoods that we have been building for a couple of past episodes with the rest of the city. Not yet in today's episode, but uh, most probably in the next one. But anyway, what's happening over here? As you can see, I built a couple of stadiums in here because I really wanted to just see how they look like. And uh, to my surprise, I found out that the uh, majority, vast majority of stadiums in the workshop or kind of arenas or just football fields or something are scaled down like a lot, usually by, you know, by half, but even more. And that was not exactly good, especially that uh, stadium with the yellow uh, ring around it, you know, the structure, the yellow structure around it was uh, scaled down by half. And that was making it look uh, really strange. And I was not exactly sure what to do with it because uh, I had quite a lot of stadiums that I really wanted to use, but some of them were just, uh, were just too small. So I finally decided that I'm going to just place that uh, athletic stadium, the one on the side that I was uh, just putting kind of uh, closer to the railroad, because that one is, uh, you know, proper scale. And then I converted that yellow stadium into procedural objects, so I could just scale it up. And I also decided that I'm going to put uh, right next to it, I'm going to put a ice hockey, an ice hockey stadium, you know, the inside uh, hall arena, because I just wanted to turn this place into like a general sports area. Maybe in some next episodes I might add uh, I might add some more buildings some for more sports than just, you know, ice hockey, football or some athletic stuff in, in this one. But uh, right now this is, this is kind of working together quite well, so I'm probably going to leave it uh, like this. Unless you guys might have, some, might have some suggestions for some future expansion of this place, because there's going to be some empty areas left after today's episode, so there's definitely some space to continue from here. So anyway, I really wanted to make this place very pedestrian friendly. Uh, I know that there should be some parking lots and stuff like that with stadiums because, you know, it's going to attract a lot of people in various events, so there should be some kind of facilities for that. I did not build anything like it today, but uh, in, the in the next episode I think I do have some plans for maybe like underground parking again, because that's kind of the common theme for the entire Aurelia series, so that's something that we will add, but right now I'm just going to focus on on this thing. So I'm going to put this uh, tram line, that's that's the same line that goes towards the shopping center and goes uh, obviously there as so you can see it right there in the corner that uh, you can change from the train into uh, into the, you can board the, the trams and just go one stop in here. You can just go by foot, it doesn't really matter. The tram is uh, more useful for people going into this place from the downtown for example or some uh, suburbs, you know, later I'm going to build some suburbs and obviously this tram line is going to go through them so that uh, people can just uh, use the public transport. And also the bus line that I was doing, that I was doing in the previous couple of episodes, I think I'm going to make it connected to the bus line that I already did coming from the downtown. So even the places, for example, on the hill, if you remember the residential hill that I did a long time ago, that also has the bus line going through it. So this place is just going to be basically a big transportation hub, a public transportation hub, so that uh, just people can use public transport to go to the stadium, to do the stadiums, which definitely makes you know sense, right? So uh, this uh, inside area, as you can see, I'm uh, only building using these pedestrian roads. I'm later going to ban some, you know, all pretty much most traffic. I think I'm just going to leave the, the resupply vehicles. Obviously, we will need those and the emergency ones. But uh, this place is intended to be pedestrian only and public transport, obviously. So it's going to look uh, very open inside this, this block, this, this sports block. 
because it's going to have very nice decoration all around it and it's going to have uh, very open surfaces which makes sense because this place is uh, going to attract a lot of people or if this was in real life then I guess it would attract a lot of people so it needs a lot of open spaces so that's exactly what I'm trying to do over here also from the previous episodes previous uh, three episodes actually we have some places that are not exactly finished that's the shopping center the one side of the shopping center there and some of the residential areas uh, with the glass tunnel project. So, for example, this plaza in front of the shopping center, we haven't really finished at all. I was just putting these plazas there, but I was not exactly sure how to, how to finish that. I think from the previous episode, you could have seen me uh, do these, uh, the, the retaining walls, the, the curved retaining walls. I was just copying them, mirroring them uh, from one side of the shopping center, the one side that I already finished last time, and copying it to this place so that it's exactly the same. I'm even going to later copy the same decoration, so it's going to look uh, symmetrical, nice and symmetrical and uh, just very nice. Now, we also needed to treat this uh, this area, we needed to do something in this area where we have uh, this uh, second building of the shopping center and, uh, and the highway, uh, the highway exit pretty much. So between those two places, we needed to do something. I finally decided that I'm just going to do a second instance of that big shopping building. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a shopping building in real life, it's probably some kind of an office, I'm not sure. But I just put a second instance there, made it slightly erased uh, from the first one and uh, made it clipped into the first one. So it's looking rather nice and I'm also doing this underground uh, gar entrance, underground garages, because again, it's a big shopping center, it needs some sort of, uh, you know, places where people can just park their cars, because I haven't done that in the previous episodes. Uh, never really. I, the only thing that I did for parking was uh, in the previous episode underneath the highway, but that's probably for the residential buildings anyway. So for the shopping center, uh, this is probably the only only one. And it's probably a big one, you know, there's entrances probably all, all around the underground of the shopping center so that uh, people can just park a lot of cars there. Now, this is the residential block that I that I needed to finish. It's just a straightforward uh, thing because it's the same style as all the blocks that we did in the previous episode. So I'm just going to skip mostly through it because you've all seen that uh, with the previous uh, video anyway. So this pedestrian path that's going towards this shopping center right here, that's part of the pedestrian highway project that I talked about in, uh, in the couple of previous episodes. So it's the road for pedestrians and cyclists that uh, goes pretty much through all the places that we built recently. And it's even going to continue towards this, uh, well, the shopping center, of course, and this train station. It's going to go over, over the water as well. So in the future, when I'm going to finally go across the river, we are going to have this connection for pedestrians and cyclists. And it's also going towards the stadium areas, right? So that people, even from the island city, can just, you know, get their bikes and go all the way to the to the sports stadium without uh, without their cars so that's kind of a nice project i really hope that people are going to use it and pedestrians are already using it in the city even though it's not completed right now because it's not connected on the other side to the downtown side for example but it will be it will be and i hope that people will definitely use it quite a lot also uh, like i was detailing just uh, like a little side entrance to that shopping center you could have seen me put some kind of door props in there just so it looks like people can actually walk in there i'm not sure if i connected it with some invisible pedestrian paths that just occurred to me that that's probably something that i will need to add because because it should be needed. It, it should be something that uh, could be very interesting because those buildings have quite a huge capacity for, uh, for shoppers, right, or uh, workers. So there's quite a lot of traffic, pedestrian traffic going from the, from the underside of these buildings, really. But, uh, you know, from this side of it, I definitely should add some entrances as well. So that's just a note that I need to, I need to add it. And this is the pedestrian path that's connecting uh, towards the sports center. It's right now it's ending with the sports area, but uh, in the future I will definitely need to figure out some more connections, especially from the downtown. I think that I might build like a underground, uh, like a tunnel, tiny little tunnel for the pedestrians uh, underneath the highway uh, from the park because there is a tram station for that other light rail line. So that might also be a good idea to do uh, do a connection there. 
and uh, maybe towards the downtown I'm not really going to connect uh, the path uh, you know all the way to the downtown because I would need to just do some uh, some reworks of the places that I already did and I don't really want to do that honestly so maybe that that uh, pedestrian path uh, is just going to connect to all kinds of streets and uh, that's going to be it you know there's kind of a lot public transport options in this place anyway so I don't think it's that uh, big of a problem. Or maybe I'm just going to get some idea in the future to rework uh, some places of uh, those already finished areas to incorporate this pedestrian highway, but uh, maybe not, you know, we will see. We will see how that's going to turn out. It's not really like a top priority anyway. So in front of this shopping building, I also wanted to put one of these uh, tiered planters with the curved retaining walls. I did it previously with that uh, shopping center building, the, the different building, and it turned out looking really, really great. And in here, it's, uh, I think it might be looking even better because in here it's forming some sort of a sloped retaining wall, we can call it probably, uh, in front of that main entrance. This is probably the main entrance to the entire shopping building for people who arrive by train, probably, because it's the closest place uh, of the shopping center complex uh, for people who get off the train at, at that train station that goes, you know, the, the train station from the line that goes over over the river. So that train station is already very, very busy because people get off at that station if they want to get to the, if they want to go to the shopping center and also the sports area. So that station is definitely very, very busy. It uh, Right now it collects people from from pretty much, uh, well, the entire city, I, I could probably say, because this uh, train line is, well, right now this train line is the same that goes kind of loops around the downtown and goes towards the island city. So it pretty much goes through the entire city and uh, it collects people who want to go to, to the shopping center and the stadiums. So right now it's busy and it's probably going to be even busier when we just start uh, filling all the places on the other side of the river and uh, just finishing the city in general. So maybe I'm going to have to just revisit this place in some distant future and uh, do some upgrades, but I think it's gonna be fine. We definitely did a lot of public transport options, like I even said many times before, so it should be, it should be all right. Also, we had some of these empty places to figure out, uh, especially by the river. I finally decided to just uh, to just widen the river a bit in here and decorate it with trees because I really wanted to have only the big buildings in this area. I didn't really want to just uh, make a lot of a lot of mess with some smaller buildings in these places. I really only wanted to have the big structures in this place. So the big shopping buildings and on the other side of this highway exit, we're gonna have those uh, those sports buildings. And I don't really want to want to make it all that messy with some uh, with some smaller smaller structures or smaller uh, blocks of buildings. So this place, uh, this general area is going to be actually very, very clean compared to, uh, cleanly built, I mean, compared to, for example, the neighboring places uh, with that residential bridge that we did uh, a long time ago. Because if you remember, in that episode, I talked about just creating something uh, nice looking. And then maybe underneath the bridge, uh, I wanted to create blocks of buildings that don't exactly match or, you know, don't exactly look all that great. So these places are going to be quite a big contrast to that, uh, to those kinds of areas of of uh, the city. So in the next episode, there's actually going to be a maybe slightly difficult, uh, you know, situation because I will have to somehow make a border between these two places, between the not so nice looking places and these very open, very green areas with, uh, you know, large, uh, nice looking structures. Anyway, we're almost done. All that's left here are some light details and lots of trees around the sports center. Next week, we will continue with this place and connect it to the residential bridge area. So we will connect two major parts of the city. I hope you guys liked today's episode, the sports center build. If you did, then make sure to put a thumbs up underneath the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Also, if you want to directly support the channel, you can become a channel member by clicking the join button below. Thank you for watching, take care and goodbye.